planted in wealthy white men. Now, there's something else very important about Borno. The Russian Jewish immigrant to France. And he did this work of giving wealthy white men monkey glands, i.e. Negro testicles, for the purpose of rejuvenating them. He did this work between 1910 and 1930. Wow. Now, there's something else about this Jew, Varno, and his work with monkeys, see? He said that well, even though monkey was code yes, for Negro That's right. Come on. in the French social and all the European social imagination right. at the right. time, yet he also said scientifically, Voronoff said that certain primates, specifically the baboon, was blood brother, not to humanity, was literally blood brother to the white man. Now why is this important? His book, I, I wish I would have brought that picture. His book, published in 1925, was called Rejuvenation and Grafting. The title of his book, Rejuvenation and Grafting. Why is that important and how is that related to his acknowledgement, his scientific acknowledgement that primates like the baboons are the blood brothers not to all people but specifically the blood brothers of the white man. And he said, he said, one, that the African is a, is a depot for spare parts. Wow. You know what the depot is? Like Office Depot? And Lowe's is a depot? The, the black, the, the African is a depot for spare parts. But he said in terms of whites being blood brothers, and he said specifically the bad, these primates are the younger blood brother of the white man. Why is that relevant? Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad told us, and some of you mocked him, but the laugh is on you. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that after the white man was grafted out of the black man over 600 years and then after making trouble and mischief in the Holy Land, we kicked them out. We told them, get out. And after spending two, th see they petty. They're always ping ponging with God. After spending 2,000 years in the cage, a certain element among them, specifically after God sent Moses to teach the savage cave man, only a small portion of those cave savages listened to Moses' instruction. Those who listened to Moses' instruction are what we now call the Jews. That's why the Jews are wiser than the Gentiles. You're not a Gentile. The Gentile is the non-Jew white. White folks in general. The, the Jew, those who listened to Moses, after gaining Moses' wisdom, among the first things they did, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us, was to try to regraft themselves back to the original man. And he said that they only got so far as the monkey, the ape. So the ape is the younger brother of the white man, and that Jew told us that.